Hi, in this video I'll talk a bit about the difference between two Python list methods, namely append and extend. So both of them kind of do the same thing conceptually, namely adding more things to a list, but they are fundamentally different. So what I'll do in this video is to first illustrate what each of them does with a small code example, then explaining why you shouldn't mix them up. So finally I'll talk a bit about performance, namely explaining which one you should use in a given situation. So here I am in an empty Jupyter notebook and let's just make a small headline here for the basic usage. So let me first start with just showing you the append method. So say we have a list, let's call it languages. And here I can write some programming languages like Python maybe, and let's say I write R. And finally, let's also have Java here. So with the pen method, I can take my languages list and use append. And here I can append another item to the list. So let's do, for instance, Scala like this. After doing this, let's just print out languages. And here you can see that we now have Python, R, Java, and Scala. So the string Scala has been appended to this list. So whatever is here, whether it's a string or a number or even a new list, this will be appended into a new slot into the previously existing list. And the append method doesn't return anything, so the languages list is mutated, as you can see here. One also has the extend method that does something almost similar. So let me again just copy the languages list. Now we can do languages.extend. And here we can pass in a list of values. Let's again do maybe Scala and then maybe C. And then finally, let's do SQL. And again, let's just print it out. And here you can see the languages now has six elements, namely Python, R, Java, Scala, C, and SQL. So this is the extend method. Immediately, you see that both of them do almost the same thing, but I want to emphasize their difference. So you really shouldn't mix this up. And the way to see how to mix these up is to again start with the languages list and then do what you did here with the extend method, except you try to do it with append. You might mistakenly think that this will give you essentially the same as before, but this is of course not the case. And this is the easiest way to kind of mix them up is that now you essentially append this whole thing here, but this isn't iterated through and each of them is appended. You simply append the whole list. Now you have a new element here at index three, which is a new list with Scala C and SQL. So this is the major difference. Append takes anything passed into here and just as an object inserts this or appends it into the list, while the extend method takes something that is iterable, typically a list or maybe a tuple, and then iterates through it and adds each of them. Before moving on to performance, I also just want to mention one thing. You might have seen a different way of essentially extending a list and that's by using the plus symbol. So I want to talk about the difference between the extend method and simply doing plus. What you could have done instead of the extend method, so let me again just copy this, is to take languages and then add to it the new list. So here you can see this. And this looks kind of the same. This looks like plus and extend is doing the same thing. In one way, yes, but in another, no. So what you can see here that this actually returns the list. So that means that if I make say all languages variable like this, this gives me a completely new list or languages that is not just a reference to the previous languages list. In contrast here with the extend method, the extend method doesn't make a new list, it simply modifies the languages list. And to prove to you that this is really the case, let me just go into all languages. Let's just modify, say, the first one. So maybe the first one is Julia instead. And then I can print both out. So let me just call this the new list with all languages. And we also now have an old list, which is just languages. And here you can see that for the new list, it's changed, of course, but the old list hasn't changed. Here you can see that all languages really is a completely new list. It doesn't reference the elements in the all languages list. You can use plus if you really want to make a completely new list like this, or you can use extend if you just want to modify the previous languages list. Personally, for the most part, I use the extend method. So now we have a pretty good grasp of the difference between extend and append. But a natural question is, which is faster? Say if I need to add, say, a thousand elements to a list, should I do a single extend call or do a thousand append calls? So intuitively, maybe the extend should be faster and this is the case. So let me actually just show this by timing it. So here I'll just use the IPython magic method, time it in the cell. Again, let's just do the languages here. And let's just do the append. So let's do languages.append Scala. 
Let me just copy this three times. Here was C and this was SQL. So here we're appending these one at a time. And we use time it. Time it has now done a lot of runs and here you can see the mean time, so 151 nanoseconds, plus some standard deviation here that's quite small. So this is the average time. But now if we try to do exactly the same, so let's again initialize languages. And here we simply do languages in a simple extend call where we can make a list that has these three elements. So we have Scala, we have C, and we have SQL. Now let's run this. And here you can see that this is 131 nanoseconds, so definitely shorter than this one. You can see here that the difference is not so much, but that's just because it's really three elements. If you would extend this by a thousand elements, instead of doing a thousand appends, then the difference between these two would be greater. So if you need to add more than one element to a list, then you should definitely use extend. But that still leaves the question of what if you just want to add a single element to a list? Should you use append, which looks easier, or should you really wrap it in an extend statement? Here again, our intuition might say that probably append is done fastest. Let's actually verify this. So let's just delete the last two things here and actually just in the extend statement, just extend by a single element. Let's first run the first one. This is the append. This takes 77 nanoseconds. And if I rerun the second one now, here you can see with just one element that the intuition is again correct that append is then fastest. Here you can see 77 nanoseconds and here you can see 101. So the kind of moral of the story of these two list methods is that you should use append when appending a single element. You should probably use extend if you want to extend the list with more than one element. Definitely, if you extend it by thousands of elements, then the difference here between multiple append calls and a single extend call is quite big. So the extend call will, in that case, maybe be three or four times faster. So this is all I wanted to say in this kind of elementary video on append versus extend. I hope you like this. If you like the content we're providing here on YouTube, then like and subscribe. And I'll see you, of course, again in a future video.